I can read too. Amelia Petelia, cub reporter. Amelia Petelia had just served breakfast. Where is the paper? Asked Mister Rogers. Paper? Said Amelia Petelia. What kind of paper would you like? Note paper, wall paper, toilet paper. The newspaper, said Mister Rogers. I cannot start my day without it. That paper is late," said Amelia Bedelia. "I'll go and see if it has been delivered." When Amelia Bedelia opened a front door, a voice hollered, "Duck!" Amelia Bedelia did not see any ducks. The only thing she saw was a newspaper coming right at her. Amelia Bedelia ducked in the nick of time. Bam! Went the paper on the window. Crash! Clink went the broken glass. Crash! Clink! Clink! A boy rode his bike up the front walk. I am so sorry, he said. I am Peter, your paper boy. A paper boy? Said Amelia Bedelia. You look mighty solid to me. What's the commotion? Asked Mister Rogers. Are you all right? Asked Mrs. Rogers. "I am fine," said Amelia Bedelia. "Our paper boy broke the window by mistake." "Don't worry, son," said Mrs. Rogers. "We will fix it. It is only a small pain." "That's right," said Amelia Bedelia. "A larger window is a big pain to fix." "I'll buy a new window." Said Mister Rogers. "Let Missus Rogers do that," said Amelia Bedelia. "She loves to go window shopping." Peter took a camera out of his bag. "Thanks for not getting mad," he said. "May I take your picture for my paper? We're doing stories on our best customers." Everyone gathered for the picture. "Cheese," said Peter. Amelia Bedelia didn't see any cheese. She figured Peter was joking, so she smiled like Mister and Missus Rogers. Peter got back on his bike and said, "I have to deliver the rest of these papers on my way to school, but now I am late." "Let me help you," said Amelia Bedelia. Missus Rogers waved and called out, "Take the rest of the day off." They made a good team. Peter carried the papers. Amelia Petalia tossed the papers. She hit every porch and missed every window. Peter got to school right on time. The principal, Mister Owens, was outside to greet the students. Peter introduced Amelia Petalia to him. She knows newspapers, said Peter. She could work on the school scoop. Then this is our lucky day," said Mister Owens. "Our school paper is due out tomorrow, but the parent who helps with it is ill. Would you work with us?" asked Peter. "Sounds like fun," said Amelia Bedelia. "That's the spirit," said Mister Owens. "Come and meet your cub reporters." "Cubs," said Amelia Bedelia. I thought the reporters would be kids. They are," said Mister Owens. "They're called cub reporters when they're young and new on the job." When they arrived at the school paper, Mister Owens hollered, "Stop the presses!" A girl looked up, smiled, and said, "We don't use printing presses any more. We do everything on the computer." I knew that. Said Mister Owens, in an old movie I once saw, the editor yelled, "Stop the presses!" Whenever he found a mistake, I've always wanted to say that. The principal introduced Amelia Bedelia. "Meet your new editor," he said. "Please send her your stories and photos. She will write the headlines and put everything together in the paper." Sounds simple. Said Amelia Petalia. 
that we print copies for Peter to deliver. No, said Peter. There is no paper boy. The school scoop is delivered by computer. Peter is right, said Mr. Owens. Our newspaper is available online. Got it, said Amelia Pedalia. I put things online every day. Excellent, said the principal. Everyone gets a copy instantly, even my boss, the superintendent. As he was leaving, Mr. Owens gave them some advice. To be a good reporter, he said, keep this in mind. If a dog bites a man, that is not news. But if a man bites a dog, that is news. No one had a clue what he meant. They all nodded anyway to be polite. Story assignment. Story. Library news. School play, chess club, gardening class, field trip to zoo, nurse, health tips. Reporter or photographer. Laura and Ron, Chris and Mark, Matt and Julia. There was so much going on in the school. Amelia Patelia assigned the last story just as the bell rang for classes to begin. As the kids filed into the hallway, Amelia Patelia gave them some advice too. You cubs, be careful! Do not get bitten and do not bite any dogs! Amelia Patelia set right to work. Just when she got used to the school computer, the stories began to come in. She wrote a headline for each story. The library was quieter than usual. The squeaky rocking chair used for story time had been set out to be repaired. Librarian off her rocker. During rehearsal of the school play, some scenery fell over onto the actors. School play, a big hit. Click. At the chess tournament, both players moved their knights early in the game. Knights battle in Chim. While he was being interviewed, the gardening teacher tripped over a bucket. Gardener kicks the bucket. Two new bear cubs were spotted during the zoo field trip. Cub reporters report on cubs. The school nurse offered every student the chance to visit her new office. Every kid will get a shot. During a fire safety lesson, the chief said that he forgot to use sunscreen on his recent vacation. Fire chief burned. The eggs incubating in the fourth grade classrooms finally hatch. Fourth grade full of cute chicks. Amelia Pedalia took a break to report on a story herself. On her way back to the office, she ran into Mr. Owens. I did a story on the cafeteria, said Amelia Pedalia. Great, said Mr. Owens. Did you get a hot scoop? I got two scoops, she said, but they were both cold. That's too bad, said the principal. Will you still make the deadline? No problem, said Amelia Pedalia. My story is the last one. Amelia Batelia had taste-tested a different type of hot dog in the cafeteria. She was sure Mr. Owens would love her story. After all, it was his idea of news. Woman bites dog. She hit Sen and the school scoop was on its way to everyone. The next morning, Amelia Batelia returned to tidy up. Mr. Owens burst into the room. Stop the presses, he yelled. Stop the computer, stop everything. What happened? asked Amelia Pedalia. Is there a big story we need to cover? You bet there is, said the principal. You can report on me getting fired. My boss is coming here to talk to me about that newspaper you put out. What's wrong? asked Amelia Pedalia. I published it before the deadline. Look at your headlines, said Mr. Owens. 
They are so sensational. Thank you," said Amelia Bedelia. "Don't thank me," Mr. Owen said. "That kind of sensational is not good. Now our school sounds like a big city." Before Amelia Bedelia could apologize, the superintendent burst into the room. "Mr. Owens, there you are," she said. My phone has been ringing nonstop. Parents are calling about your newspaper. They want to know who is responsible. I can explain," said Mr. Owens. "Explain what?" said the superintendent. "Everyone loves the latest issue. Parents, teachers, students. They do," said Mr. Owens. "I mean, of course they do." I knew that. It's a hit," the superintendent said. "Your school sounds exciting and fun, and those headlines—they are, are, sensational," suggested Amelia Bedelia. "Exactly," said the superintendent. "I roared when I read 'Woman Bites Dog.'" "That's my favorite too," said Mr. Owens. Meet Amelia Bedelia. She wrote that. Glad you like it," said Amelia Bedelia. "I wrote it the way I saw it. That's all." Keep up the good work," said the superintendent to Mr. Owens. "Maybe one day you'll have my job." "Really?" said Mr. Owens. "When that happens," said Amelia Bedelia, "I've got the perfect headline." Principal becomes super superintendent. After the superintendent left, Mr. Owens turned to Amelia Bedelia. "I cannot thank you enough," he said. "You're sensational, in a good way." "I knew that," said Amelia Bedelia. Ding dong! A week later, Mr. and Mrs. Rogers had just sat down to breakfast when the doorbell rang. Please see who it is," said Mrs. Rogers. "And see if my paper is here," said Mr. Rogers. Amelia Petalia returned with Peter. "Special delivery," said Peter. He handed Mr. Rogers his paper. "Thank you," said Mr. Rogers. "My windows thank you too." "My pleasure," said Peter. I wanted to show you your story. Peter held up the front page and said, "I've got to write the article too." Congratulations," said Amelia Bedelia. "You are not a cub any more." The news: a breaking story. What a clever idea," said Mrs. Rogers. "A paper boy who broke into reporting." By breaking a window," added Mr. Rogers. "I love your headline," said Amelia Bedelia. "I couldn't have done better myself."